Hi folks, back again. I think this is part 4 of 188. Man, I am really going on and on here. And if you happen to stumble across this one, you most likely don't want to watch it because it's, uh, you know, it's just me ranting and raving. And this is sort of a continuation of the three I did a few months ago called Alienation in the Workplace. Uh, but anyway, so that's sort of the deal. That's how I ended up quitting. I just said, you know, I just can't do this anymore. I can't be abused for lack of a better word, by these them and they, you know, those people who are pulling the strings and who seemingly do not give a rat's ass about their employees. Additionally, recently I learned, and not only that, what they're doing is, and unless I'm misinterpreting the rules and the laws and so on and so forth, they're violating federal laws. They hired people and paid them more money than the people who had been there for years. And basically, my understanding of federal law is equal work, equal pay, and that's it. In other words, you can't pay people more, you know what I mean, uh, than someone else who's doing the same job. You just can't do that. That's my understanding of the federal law. Of course, I could be wrong. And uh, now, uh, I quit, of course. Someone else just quit. In other words, their last day was the end of the month. Another person, <coughs> excuse me, uh, quit and then subsequently said, oh, okay, I'll stay. They talked her, uh, taught that person to stay. But here's the interesting part. Seemingly, there should be three people on a shift because what them and they are saying, yes, those people, is you have one person in the office who answers the phone, not only for the city of Norfolk, but for other cities. You have one person who runs the streets, goes to the cop calls, uh, goes, you know, into the community and sees the people. And then you have one person who works at Norfolk General. So, seemingly, at minimum, you need three people. Of course, there are not three people. Uh, right now, my understanding is, is some of the night shifts at 12 to 8, there's one person. Now, the responsibilities of that one person is to answer the phones for five cities, Norfolk and the four surrounding to do the cop calls, the community calls, and to do the Norfolk General Emergency Room calls. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this, how all this ends up. And uh, I'm not sure why I'm ranting and raving about this, other than the fact that I'm really ticked off about the whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> you know, the way people treat people. In other words, how, how could these people treat uh, the emergency services workers as they have? is beyond me. I just don't know. There must be there must be a disconnect somewhere. There truly must be. And the people who are doing this are the people who spend their entire lives in meetings. You know those kind of people? Meetings, 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 meetings. And nothing changes. Nothing gets better. <coughs> Excuse me. My mouth is dry. So, anyway, that's about what I wanted to say. I just wanted to as I said, I had those uh, three alienation in the workplace things, and of course I didn't name names or places or anything else, but I thought, hey, what the hell? <coughs> it's going to be interesting to see how all, the, all this plays out, because number one, there are not enough people to do the job. Uh, in other words, at times, uh, just doing the main job that used to be there, you know, seeing the citizens in Norfolk, that would stretch you pretty thinly with two people. Uh, now the jobs are answering the phones for four other cities and working the emergency room for Norfolk General Hospital. So it's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, real interesting to see what happens. And I am still ticked off. I liked my job. I just assumed I would be there, you know, until I fell over dead. <laughs> but maybe actually this will all work out well for me. Uh, this is, as I said, January 5th. And uh, I'm headed to Texas toward the end of the month to pick up a small travel trailer. Let me see how that works. See part of the country, maybe. Take it easy for a while. Whatever. Anyway, if you've put up with all this baloney, <laughs> I truly thank you for listening. And as Pat Condell will say, peace, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. And watch those whack jobs who you work for, because some of them out there are truly wretched human beings. <laughs> And if any of you, them and they from the Norfolk Community Services Board, which is 
is watching this, which I am sure you aren't, this is about you, and this is how you've treated people. And uh, I'm sure you sleep well at night. I'm sure you go to the meetings and run your mouth, pound on those stupid-ass blackberries and do all that other stuff. Ah, and unfortunately, you know, people have this what uh, uh, goes around, comes around. Sadly, that's not true. <laughs> but anyway, you guys know who you are, and I'm sure you aren't watching this, but if you are, anyway, Pac-Con Dell will say, peace, ladies and gentlemen, peace, and watch out who the hell you work for.